Hey yo, what's up everybody, Holmes here, and we're back with some more Demon Souls walkthrough, real walkthrough. Not a playthrough with my skill build. Well, not skill build, dex build. I don't know why I keep calling it skill build, probably because of Bloodborne. Uh, anyways, today we're going to be taking on the first boss of Shrine of Storms, uh, Island's Edge. So it's the first boss, and it's going to be a adjudicator. Walk in the room and see the boss right there. You want to quickly make your way down because it's going to start like trying to whip us with its tongue. So make your way down. Once you're on the same floor, try to get to this side that's like bleeding. And then from here on out, just keep whacking at this side. It's not going to do like crazy amount of damage to the boss, but... Actually, we're not even doing any damage to the boss. <laughs> But the point is, you want to just keep whacking at this little bleeding spot until the boss falls over. You can lock on if you want, like if you're having trouble hitting it, you can also lock on like this. But I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. And do be careful because uh, we get tapped, we might die in one shot. There we go, falls back, and then we're just going to have to hit this bird thing. And pretty much just how you deal damage to the boss. And I'm just using my heavy attacks here because I feel like that's probably the easiest way to, or that deals the most damage. And what can screw you over in this fight is just if the boss's butt decided like touches the wall or something because then you can't circle around. If that happens, you're gonna have to kind of bait him to keep like you're gonna have to keep baiting him. The moment he swings, you gotta dodge it left. And then, you know, after, oh shit, after it's done swinging, you go back to whacking the bleeding spot. There we go, let's drop them again. Okay. Does decent damage. See right now it's like its side is like on the wall now so we're gonna have to kind of bait him back like right here. So bait him back and then when it swings, you know, go to the right side and when it's recovering, that's when we're gonna start hitting the BB spot. And we drop them one more time. Do it one more time. I think like one more drop should take him now. But yeah, this is pretty much the whole gimmick with the adjudicator. Let's bait him to turn back around this way. When it swings, go to the right side. Just die. I mean, fall down so I can hit the stupid bird thing and just die. There we go. And there we go. That's how you take down the Judicator. <sighs> Almost got killed. I feel like if we. I didn't even put any points into uh, <laughs> health there. And then now you can uh, freely explore the room pretty much. That's the only thing that you can get. So there's... Oh wait, actually. There's an item right here this whole time? I didn't even realize. What time I've been, I've been missing out on this. This whole freaking time. Alright, and... Um, yeah. Get the swollen demon soul. And then we can go back to the Nexus. In the next episode, we'll take on the Stone Fang Tunnel's first area. So we can kind of upgrade our katana. And probably just finish off that area first. Right here, Smithing Ground, Stone Fang Tunnel. So, 
this is what we're going to be taking on next since we got um got a pretty decent weapon already and we can finally meet the blacksmith that does shit but for now let's just repair these upgrades don't do it because it's not worth it <laughs> so yeah especially for the katana don't touch it because um, it's going to be very useful like the katana is going to be very useful for the other blacksmith and let's go ahead and drop off these grass that's pretty much the stuff we don't use we'll just put back and we got eight sharp stones you guys can farm more if you want to but I don't like farming so I'll just take what I can get uh, compound okay so we're gonna put away the short bow I guess I'll keep both arrows and that's pretty much it oh also we picked up the regenerators ring and grave robbers ring from uh, the island's edge so part one of shrine of storms so this one whoops uh, you can pretty much use this if someone invades you and if you wanna you know just hide from them <laughs> or if you wanna ambush them you can also use this but we don't need that and rings do have a little bit of weight on them so I'm gonna drop that off uh, regenerators ring this one right here so you can use this one to recover some health over time uh, I might use this if I get like a damage or whatever so I probably should have used that one when I was fighting the boss but yeah uh, where's the maiden let's go ahead and level up and wrap up this run yes I seek the soul um, alright strength let's finish that off on 18 because that's how much we need for the freaking um, the katana and then just up our decks till I guess 20 right that should be good yeah I think that's good after we after dex hits 40 or maybe I'll stop at 30 I don't know and then we'll mess around with vitality and endurance but these are pretty much the only four stats we'll mess with uh, strength right now it's pretty much done so only three more and then we'll cap dex at 40 but that's just my my play style because I usually cap myself um, around the PvP level so I can PvP but yeah for this one I might go I might try to make this character 100 <laughs> even though we'll probably beat the game before 100 so yeah that might not happen as well yeah this is where you can die in Nexus that's probably like the easiest way I find to die here and dying here has no repercussion so yeah but if you die in like any of the worlds it can mess up your world tendency and you won't be able to get like the special events that happen there make sure you pick up your souls if you do this so yeah that's that um, and that's gonna wrap it up for this run so I thank you all so very much for watching. Hopefully this video has been entertaining or helpful or enjoyable. And we all found at least one of those qualities in this video tonight. Stay tuned for more. But until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Ohms. Oats.